Welcome friends, today's date is the 29th of January 2019 and I'll quickly run through this opening credit. The original file is Chemtrail 19th of December 2017, 15-2500 hours, hashtag message. As I say the date is the 29th of January 2019 today so we're well over, we're over 13 months since the original video was taken. The camera location is St. Mary's Church, Taunton in Somerset, UK, United Kingdom. The approximate coordinates of 51.0157 degrees north, 3.1007 degrees west. And my direction of view is looking from north to the south with a very slight veer towards the southeast. Camera used is a Nikon Coolpix S7000, 16 megapixels and 20 times zoom. It's, the camera was handheld throughout, hence the slightly wobbly close ups and zoom ins. Okay, now the footage begins and is shown at normal speed throughout, with slow motion editing included at relevant intervals. So. There's no need really to pause or slow down on an initial viewing. Uh, and there is a flightradar24.com screen capture at the end of the offending flight with plain information that will be tagged on to the end of the film. And this information will include an image which shows the cube symbol, if you're familiar with the cube symbol six-sided shapes, the number 777, the EU logo, which to my mind automatically springs up Brexit, uh, and a zoom out from St Mary's Churchyard to the uh, uh, origin of the flight, which is from Atlanta International Airport, that's AIA, Artificial Intelligence, aeronautics perhaps you don't know that's um, in Atlanta Georgia and the flight is conducted by Cargo Lux Cargo Lux Italia okay now there are a few hashtags in the list below they will be included in the description as, as will this full narrative and the reason that I was recording this particular plane and chemtrail was the fact that one of the trails appears to be a grey or, or brown, very pale grey or brown, while the other three trails were white. I didn't notice the these kind of lettering anomalies that um, it sort of followed the video so or the recording so the the reason isn't the the visual that actually transpired that just caught, caught my attention okay so I'm just watch and give it a thumbs up if you think it's quite odd it is um, there does appear to be several different types of trail that manifest. We've got these sort of stringy ones, and I've got a couple of, I've got a number of other ones that seem to have formed in the same manner. This they form lettering or symbols, whereas we have other ones that just sort of spread out like like a dust. And um, there are various, various different types of chemtrail that, um, as I said, manifest. So it could be a possibility that there are different chemicals involved in the um, in the in the actual trails themselves. Uh, just let me see what you uh, just let me know what you think. Cheers. Enjoy.
I'll stop the video here, particularly because of what I want to do is highlight the the sort of matrix of this particular chemtrail, and it's not it's not terribly unusual. What we appear to have is we've obviously got two lines. We've got the bright white trail below. This kind of looks symbolic of letters or just basic symbols or just randoms really. It, it's irrelevant to a degree because it seems to have separated itself out of the the whole trail and we've got a, a, a paler a paler trail above it um, which to me just just demonstrates it there are quite probably two at least two chemicals or elements that are contained within these um, these trails. So, if you um, if you know any if you know the science behind it, I'd be quite intrigued to know. Um, simple as that, really. It's it's quite baffled me. Okay. <laughs> Straight into the flight radar 24 footage that um, begins zoomed in on St Mary's Church in Taunton and the time is 15.25. This is the church. This marks the spot I was stood at to take the footage. Now we'll zoom out. And we'll keep zooming out. Just to give you an idea where Taunton is in relation to the rest of the world, I suppose. Not a huge place. <clears throat> anyway, we'll zoom out. Out. And. That should do it. Now, this is Taunton. This is the plane, CLX-777, from, flying from Atlanta to Luxembourg via Taunton, without stopping. Calibrated altitude, 37,025 feet. Vertical speed is minus 64 feet per minute. And the current ground speed is 555 miles per hour. Okay. So we'll play the footage. Here it comes. Does a little um gets as far as Tiverton and has second thoughts really. So we're coming up to the the time, fifteen thirty one. goes and that's quite possibly as far as I could see it before I went back and over the trail it had left Go back to fifteen twenty nine. Play. 
game. It's a Cargo Lux Italia. It's got the cube, three of them. Six sides, six sides, six sides. We've got the EU flag near the cockpit. And the number 777. Change the um, the view, or the terrain, and let's just have a look at where we are in the world. We'll zoom out. Uh, we'll just zoom out. We'll forget the route. This is Great Britain. The Atlantic on the left. So there's an odd little hop there. Not sure why. And there is a bit of an anomaly in the um, sort of in the mid Atlantic. When it gets when it gets away from land, the signal seems to just go dotted. So all I can surmise from that is. It's not satellite pinpointing, it's um, it's sort of tower pinpointing really. It, it, you only get a definite line when it's in sight of land or in range of land, so that's quite possibly satellites debunked anyway. And we'll just zoom in on Atlanta International Airport. Just have a look. What it's like over the other side of the pond. Probably where they fueled up with whatever is in that chemtrail. So this is um, this is flight radar 24. It's it's quite useful, as you can see. And we'll just zoom in and have a little nose around the airport. seem to be many people walking around. Yeah, Korean Air. Delta. 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 Okay, let's, let's fly back up. So that's um, Hartsfield Jackson, Atlanta International Airport. And up, up and away. That's it. That is 
is the journey. It's a long way. And uh, this little hopping anom anomaly, anomaly is um, it's quite intriguing as well. And we'll just um, just leave it there, I suppose. Okay. There you go.